वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम रुगेश प्रजापति लक स्कूल ऑफ साइंस बामणवा टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट अ स्टैंडर्ड एंड साइंस चैप्टर 12 द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज अ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज अ वेरी फैमिलियर टू अस द वर्ड इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज वेरी यूजफुल टू अस वी नो दैट द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज यूज्ड इन आवर होम ऑफिसेस मॉल्स हॉस्पिटल्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड वी यूज द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो व्हाट इज द इलेक्ट्रिसिटी where we use the electricity in this chapter we discuss the electricity and the basic laws associated with the electricity look, look at the picture see in the screen we use the electricity at our home uh, appliances like a fan mobiles computer radios we use the electricity to operate this all the electrical appliances right so electrical electricity is very important to us electrical energy is very important to the human beings think about it the life without electricity in our modern society the human lives cannot survive without electricity in a modern technological societies right electricity is associated with the electrical energy and the electrical energy is very very important for the human beings why because of uh, only two reason what is this two reason think about it electrical energy is very important for the human beings because of the two reason the first reason is that the electrical energy can be easily converted into the other type of the energy i repeat my sentence right the electrical energy can be converted into the other type of the energy right electrical energy ko hum kisi bhi other energy mein convert kar sakte hain that is the important things when we switch on the bulb glows on the electrical energy is converted into the light energy right such a other type of the examples are that electrical energy is converted into the heat energy we will see later on in this chapter right and second example second things is that the electrical energy can be easily stored in the form of the batteries cells and other appliances right we know that the except all the type of the energies electric the electrical energy can be easily stored right how we can store the electrical energy electrical energy is stored in the form of the cells batteries all things right we can store the electrical energy and whenever we require we use this electrical energy right so the electrical energy is very important role in our human life right so what is the electrical energy and what is the electricity so electricity is nothing but the phenomena associated with the flow of the electrical charge electricity is nothing but the phenomena associated with the flow of the electrical charge right electrical energy is associated with this electric charge now as you know what is the electric charge the we will discuss the first of all the basic about the electric charge basic about the electric charge electric charge is nothing but the fundamental properties of the matter matter consists of the atom right and atom consists of the electric electron proton and neutron so electrical charge is the fundamental property of the atom right there are two types of the charges positive charge and the negative charge right there are two types of the charges positive charge and the negative charge traditionally we consider the charge of the proton is consider as a positive charge and charge of the electron we consider as a negative charge right traditionally it is not necessary to take this but traditionally we consider the charge of the proton is considered as a positive charge and charge of the electron is considered as a negative charge right 
some properties of the electric charge electric charge is a fundamental properties of the matter another properties of the charge is a you know that like charges repel each other and the unlike charges are attract each other unlike charges are attract each other that means that when we consider a, when we take a two positive charges nearby each other right there will be a repulsive force between these two charges similarly when we place a two electron nearby each other same repulsive type force is exerted on the two electron so if we consider same type of the charges right the force between the same charges are a repulsive type right but when we take a one positive charge and one negative charge right the force is a attractive type so you can say that the like charges are repulse each other and unlike charges are attract each other so electrical charge is nothing but the fundamental properties the first the electrical charge was found by the coulomb so as the name of the scientist the unit of the electric charge is considered as a coulomb unit of the electric charge is considered as a coulomb right the charge on the electron and the charge on the proton are same right the charge on the electron and the charge on the proton are very small and both the in the electron and the electron and in the proton the charge are same and it is a 1.6 into 10 raised to the power of minus 19 coulomb right if we consider the basic fundamental charge the charge on electron is considered as a fundamental charge right and all the charges in the universe are integer multiple of the fundamental charge the statement i repeat the all the charges available in the nature is is a integer multiple of the fundamental charge that is the charge of the electron this statement is considered as a quantization of electric charge so what is the quantization of the electric charge the quantization of electric charge is nothing but the all the charges available in the nature is a integer multiple of the fundamental charges is a so understand about the what is the quantization of the electric charge so we take a few examples regarding this electric charge right suppose we want to calculate what will be the number of charge or number of electron in a one coulomb charge so here consider that here consider that the total charge given is a one coulomb charge on the electron one electron is a 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb we know that the formula quantization of the electric charge q is equal to n from this formula the number of electron n is equal to total charge divided by charge of the electron here given the total charge here given the total charge is a 1 coulomb so we place uh, q is equal to 1 and charge of the electron is a 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 so if we calculate this we get a uh, answer 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 coulomb so one coulomb charge is a very large amount of the charge in a one coulomb charge there are 6.25 into 10 raised to 18 number of electrons similarly you can try the some questions regarding this it will ask in your examination also calculate the number of electrons constituting a two coulomb charge how many electrons will flow in a charge of a four coulomb what is the unit of the electric charge so try these questions at yourself right try this question is now we study about the electric current 
Previously, we were discuss about a electric charge, types of the charge, positive charge and negative charge. Proton has a positively charged particle, electron has a negatively charged particle. When this electric charge is a stationary, it produces the static electric field. It is called the static electricity. But when the electric charge is in the motion, it produces the electric current. It is called the current electricity. So the for the electric current, the motion of the electric charge is necessary. Electric current is expressed by the net amount of the electric charge passing through any cross section area per unit time. Electric current is expressed by the amount of electric charge passing through the any cross section area per unit time. So electric current is defined as the net amount of the electric charge passing through any cross section area in a unit time or we can say that the rate of flow of electric charge is called the electric current right ek second mein kitna charge pass hota hai usko hum bolte hai electric current so electric current is constituted due to the motion of the electric charge electric charge is nothing but the electron and proton right the electric current constituted in a conductor is due to the free electron in the conductor. When the free electron in the conductor is passing from the one end to the another end, we can say that the electric current is passing through the conductor, right? So traditionally we are considering the electric current is due to the flow of electric charge, flow of electron. When the electron is passing through the conductor, we can say that the electric current is constituted in the conductor, right? So, if you considering any conductor like this having a some cross section area and the net amount of the charge passing through this conductor is a Q in a time T. So, by the definition of the electric current, electric current I is equal to net amount of the charge Q divided by time T. So electric current I is equal to Q divided by T. It is the formula of electric current, right? From the formula, the SI unit of the electric current is a coulomb per second. As you know, the unit of the charge, electric charge is a coulomb and the unit of the time is a second. So you can say that the SI unit of the electric current is a coulomb per second. By the name of the scientist, by the name of the scientist ampere, its a SI unit is considered as a ampere. The electric current is considered as a fundamental physical quantity of physics, right? So what is the one ampere electric current? What is the definition of the one ampere electric current? So when the one coulomb charge is passing through any conductor in a one second, we can say that one ampere current is passing through the conductor. Understand? When the one coulomb charge is passing through the any conductor in a one second, it constitutes the one ampere electric current. One ampere current, it is equal to one coulomb electric charge divided by one second. We can easily remember the definition from this formula. When the one coulomb electric charge passing through the conductor in a one second, the electric current flowing through the conductor is considered as a one ampere, right? Ampere is a larger unit of the electric current. The smaller unit of the electric current is a milliampere. One milliampere is a 10 raised to minus 3. That means the 1 milliampere is a thousand part of the ampere. And 1 microampere, it is a thousand part of the milliampere. 1 microampere is a 10 raised to minus 6 ampere. 1 microampere is a 10 raised to minus 6 ampere. Further smaller units are there, but no need to study here at this level, right? And the higher standard, you can study the more smaller units of the electric current. The instruments which measures the electric current 
in a circuit is called the ammeter ammeter is a instrument which used to measure the electric current here we can see that the symbol of the electric ammeter right ammeter in the small circle we can write capital a that is a ammeter if we want to measure the micro ampere meter we here use the micro ammeter if we want to measure the milli ammeter we use the milli ampere meter right so here the electric current is passing from the higher potential to the lower potential plus to minus a meter has a very low resistance it will ask in a short question right which one is a very low resistance so a meter has a very low resistance and always connected in a series in circuit through which the current is to be measured so the a meter is connected in a series in a component in a series in a circuit through which the current is to be measured right jiske जिस कंपोनेंट से करंट हमको मेजर करना है उस कंपोनेंट के बाजू में ए मीटर सीरीज में कनेक्ट करते हैं राइट सो हियर वी सी सम प्रैक्टिकल एग्जांपल्स ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट व्हेन द इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इज पासिंग थ्रू द कंडक्टर इज अ 0.5 पॉइंट फाइव एम्पियर राइट इज ड्रॉन बाय अ फिलामेंट ऑफ अ इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब फॉर अ टेन मिनिट find the amount of the electric charge that flows through the circuit in this example short question given that the electric current is a 0.5 ampere is passing through the filament for a time t is equal to 10 minutes we can know we know that the 1 minute is equal to 60 second so 10 minute is equal to 600 second it is necessary to convert the minute into the second right so we know that formula of electric current i is equal to q divided by t from that q is equal to electric current i multiplied by t so electric current put the values of the electric current electric current i is equal to 0.5 ampere into time t is equal to 600 second we get the answer 300 coulomb so you can say that the 300 coulomb charge is passing through the filament of the electric bulb in a 10 minute similar example you can try at yourself right when the 2 ampere of electric current is passing through a conductor in a 5 minute what will be the electric charge flow through it so it it is it will be easy to calculate at your home right so electric current is nothing but the electric charge passing through the any conductor per unit time right now we discuss about the electric potential and electric potential difference previously we were discuss about a electric flow of electric charge that constitutes the electric current but one question arising in your mind like this can the electric charge flow by itself no electric charge cannot flow by themselves we require a some amount of the energy to flow a electric charge from the one point to the another point right like this if we take a water in a horizontal pipe water cannot flow through the pipe what we need to do we need to do one end of the pipe at a higher place so that there will be a some pressure difference is created in the pipe and water can flow through the pipe and water comes out from the one end of the pipe similarly to flow a electric charge we require some amount of the potential difference between the two end some amount of the potential difference between the two end that is called the electric pressure right now this potential electric difference or we can say the electric pressure is 
created by the batteries or cells right energy is provided to the electric charge by the batteries or the cell so it is the component which produces the electric pressure or we can say the electric potential difference between the two ends when the batteries are connected to the equipment the it provides the energy to the electric charge in the conductor during the chemical reaction of the material in the cells it produces the potential difference between the two ends right and this due to this potential difference the energy is provided to the electric charge and the electric charge can move from the one point to the another point in the conductor so the electric potential difference between the two point is defined as the net amount of the work done or we can say that the energy required to move a unit positive charge from one point to the another point so by the definition of the electric potential i repeat this definition of the electric potential the electric potential difference between two point in a electric circuit is the work done required to move a unit positive charge from one point to the another point so potential difference between two point is given by the formula work done divided by charge work done divided by charge so this one is the formula of electric potential difference right so from the formula the si unit of the electric potential is a joule per coulomb work the si unit of the work is joule and the si unit of the charge is coulomb so the si unit of the electric potential is a joule per coulomb by the names of the volta its a unit is a volt so one volt potential difference what is the one volt potential difference we define the one volt potential difference like this when the one joule work is required to move a one coulomb charge right from one point to the another point the potential difference between these two point is considered as a one volt when one joule work is required to move a one coulomb charge then the potential difference is called the one volt so one volt is called the one joule per one coulomb one joule per one coulomb so an instruments which measures the potential difference between the two points of the conductor is called the voltmeter the symbol of voltmeter is here right similar to the a meter right in the small circle we write a capital v voltmeter has a very high resistance and voltmeter is always connected in a parallel across the point which the potential difference is to be measured right parallel connection you know right the voltmeter is connected in a parallel across the points for which we need to measure the potential difference cell batteries power supply are the simple device to maintain the potential difference between the two points so that we can easily pass the or constant the current is passing through the conductor right so during the chemical reaction of the cell batteries right it provides the some amount of the potential difference between the two ends when there is no current in the cells the potential difference between two point is a maintained right but when the cells is connected to to the conductor it provides the energy to the charge on the conductor and the charge is moving from the positive ter negative terminal to the 
positive terminal. So you can say that the current is moving from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. So these are the th three commonly used instruments, right? Used to maintain the potential difference between a two points, right? Cell, battery, and a power supply. Now we see about a practical example of this. How much work is done in moving a charge of a two coulomb across the two point having a potential difference 12 volt. Here given that here given that the we require to move a charge here given that we require to move a charge of a 2 coulomb so charge is given q is equal to 2 coulomb and the potential difference between two point is a 12 volt so the amount of the work done by the definition of potential difference v is equal to w by q from that the amount of work done required w is equal to v multiplied by q given that v is equal to 12 volt multiply by charge q is equal to 2 coulomb we get the answer 24 joule so 24 joule work is required to move a charge of a 2 coulomb from a one point to another point which has a potential difference 12 volt similarly you can try the example at your home calculate the work done required to move a charge of a 4 coulomb across the two point having a potential difference of a 12 volt right you can try this here. now we discuss about the circuit diagram and electric circuit now what is circuit diagram look at the picture here the battery one switch and electric bulb is connecting by a conducting wire when the switch is on the current is passing through this conducting wire and the bulb glows on right so a continuous path or we can say that the closed path of the electric current is known as the electric circuit so as so in the figure we consider as a battery or we can say as, as a cell switch and electric bulb is connecting by a conducting wire in a series connection so we cannot draw like this so we can represent this component as in the symbolic form symbolic form we can represent like this the batteries we represent like this right electric bulb we represent like a given in this right so battery and all the things we can represent symbolically here here first battery battery is represented by like this right a positive terminal and the negative terminal of the battery bulb is connected like this right symbol of the electric bulb is that this one is the emitter connected in series with the measurement of the electric current this one is the switch closed switch conducting path it provides the conducting path between the battery and the electric bulb right so this is called the schematic diagram or we can say as a circuit diagram other component of use in the electrical circuit is so in the below we can see the several components here for the representation of the electrical a electrical cell is represented like this right positive terminal and the negative terminal the line of the positive terminal is bigger than the line of the negative terminal. several batteries combination of the cells when we require a more voltage we require a more than two cells are represented like this a switch open switch is represented like this right here the switch is open condition and the switch is in the close condition another way we can represent a switch like this right this is also a symbol of the electrical switch and close switch is also represented like this
So this is all the both are the symbol of the electrical switch, plug switch, normal switch. When the open condition, it is represented like this one, right? And the closed switch, this is represented like this, right? So it when the symbol of the switch is used like this, we can say that the it the switch provides the conducting path to the circuit. Right. Another symbol is that a wire. A joint wire is represented. Right. A joint wire is represented when the two wires are joined. It is represented like this. But when the jumper, some wire crossing without joining, wire crossing without joining is represented like this. Electric bulb. Right. Another one is the electric bulb. Right, we can represent symbol a register. What is register? We will see later on. But the symbolic representation of the register is like this register just resists the path of the electric current. Variable resistance, or we can say the reverse state, is represented like this so arrows on the symbol of the register, or like uh, this one emitter and voltmeter. We were already discussed earlier so that. This one is the symbol of the different electrical components used in a electrical circuit. By joining this electrical component, several other components are there, right? But we, you will study at the higher standard, right? So here the electrical component, we can draw like this symbolic representation of the electrical component used in our daily normal life.